Ann with the short hair. For those who doesn't know me, I'm a second year architecture student studying in La Salle Dasma. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe down there for more archy and artsy videos. explain the system of unit that we have specifically in architecture and of course the use of scale and furniture templates. This video is suggested by someone in the comment section and it reminded me of my first year self asking for a friend how to use scale. It's a bit hard to find a video in YouTube about scale. The reason why is most of the YouTubers were American and in America, what they're using is, is Imperial. Whereas here in the Philippines, we are using metric. So what is the difference? In Imperial system, their standard unit for length is miles, foot, and inch. And here in the Philippines, what we're using is millimeters, centimeters, and meters. So, I guess it's a bit hard to use Imperial system even though hindi naman natin siya gagamitin because I guess there are only three countries that uses the Imperial. The reason why I said that it's a bit complicated because imagine this one. Nuwari, meron kang 123 foot na object. Tapos, i-convert mo siya papuntang inch. Sa isang foot, meron 12 inch. You, you need to multiply it by 12 pa. Whereas here in the Philippines, if you have 123 meters and you want to convert it to millimeters, you just need to add three zeros in the end of the number. So and most of the time, what we're using in architecture is meters. So yun talaga yung standard na ginagamit, especially in floor plans, elevation. Most of the time, makakarinig din kayo ng gumagamit ng millimeters and centimeters. Especially in small objects like furniture, skull, the measurement of the walls or the, like the thickness of the walls. Because you wouldn't say naman na 0 0.002 meters wall, de ba? You would say 2 millimeters wall. So, yeah, this is how it works. So, what I have here is, of course, scale, which is fan scale. Um, furniture template, one is to 100 and one is to, one is to 50. And then papers, ayan, scratch paper. Ah. And then metro, doors, fine liners, and pencil. Clean ko sa inyo muna yung metro and its importance. Kasi yung iba, um, gumagamit ng skill, like nakwari, nakabili na kayo ng skill. Tapos hindi nyo alam kung bakit iba-iba yung mga numbers dito. Ay kadalasa naman ang um, rulers na ginagamit natin. Ordinary rulers, which is inch lang, ba At saka centimeters dito. So, bakit nag-iiba-iba siya sa fan scale? So, dito sa metro natin, ito yung ginagamit in real life, diba, sa construction. For example, this is 100 centimeters. And we know that 100 centimeters is equals to 1 meter. So, ayan yung totoong 1 meter in real life. So, mamaya makikita natin sa scale, ano bang mangyayari dito sa 1 meter na to. Pero ito yung tatandaan nyo palagi na gintong kalaki yung 1 meter in real life. Ayan. So, for example, here we have 1 is to 100, which is the usual. What it means is, sample, kanina yung metro, nakita natin yung size ng 1 meter, ba? Kapag 1 is to 100 yung gagamitin nyo, ibig sabihin, pinaliit nyo siya ng 100 times. So, itong 1 dito, ang katumbas niya in real life is 1 meter. So, kunyari, gagawa kayo ng kitchen, yung kitchen nyo sa bahay pag eksperimentohan nyo. Sinukat nyo, tapos 4 meter siya. Paano nyo siya gagawin sa plan? Lalagay nyo lang dito is 4 meter. Ayan, may 4 meter na kayo. Ayan, kunyari, 4 by 4 siya. For example, may bintana ka dito na 2 meters. Ayan. Ganyan yung 2 meters. So, if you have, if you measured your wall using 1 is to 100 scale, 
Ang gagamitin niya din na furniture template if you do have, um, of course, is 1 is to 100 then Like example, eto 1 is to 100 siya. Ibig sabihin na ito, yung sizes ng furniture in real life is pinalit din siya ng 100 times. And one of the advantage of using 1 is to 100 scale is kaparehas siya ng centimeters in ruler. Ayan, kung makikita nyo. So, kung naiwan nyo yung skill nyo sa bahay, pwede nyo gamitin yung mga rulers nyo na standard para ipang sukat ng measurements nyo. Like, ayan, for example, ito, 1 meter na to. Ito, 2 meters na to. Ganyan. So, guys, I can also do a video about the line widths. That is using architecture. You can leave a comment down below. And if you do have suggestion, then kanyare may dining table tayo dito. So, meron na yung dining room or dining area na naka 1 is to 100 scale. So, kung gagamitin niya naman is 1 is to 20, ibig sabihin naman nito, of course, is pinaliit siya ng 20 times lang. So, kung 20 times mo lang siyang pinaliit, of course, mas malaki siya kapag din draft nyo. Kung ang 1 meter dito kanina is ganito kaliit, kapag nag 1 is to, one, one is to 20 kayo, ang 1 meter nyo is ganitong kalaki. Yan. So, 1 meter na yan. So, of course, kung 1, 1 is to 20 yung gagamitin nyo na skill, is 1 is to 20 din yung gagamitin nyo na template. So, ayan, kung makikita nyo, lumaki din yung template na gagamitin natin kasi 20 times mo lang siyang pinaliit eh. Ayan, kung makikita nyo yung dining table dito, ganitong kalaki. Tapos sa 1 is to 100, ganito lang siyang kaliit. Ayan, kapag 1 is to 200 naman, um, ibig sabihin 200 times mo siyang pinaliit. So, of course, mas maliit siya kasi sa 1 is to 20, ay 1 is to 100 kanina. 1 meter mo dito is kalahati lang. Ito, 1 meter na to. So, ba ayan, sobrang liit niya. Another example is when you have this book, Planning and Designer's Handbook. So, tingin tayo dito. Ayan. Ito, kunyari, um, bathroom. Uh, meron ditong lavatory which is nakasulat 50. Ang unit ng 50 dito is of course not meters kasi sobrang laki ng 50 meters. So, obviously, that's just 50 centimeters. So, ibig sabihin, in real life, yung lavatory na yun, Ganyan siyang kahaba. Okay. So, I think that's all for this video. I hope you got something from it. If you have corresponding questions, leave it in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe, and see you soon!